Friday and we are back with another video in the Why You Should Read series. Today we are talking about John Sanford. John Sanford's real name is John Roswell Camp. He was born in 1944 and he was from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. His mother and father are, are German and Lithuanian descent. He's wrote over 60 books. Those are comprised primarily of the current 34 books in the Prey series, the Lucas Davenport series, the two books in the Letty Davenport series, the 12 books in the Virgil Flower series, the four books in the Kid series, which all four are kind of loosely connected, and we'll talk about that some more. The three nonfiction books he's wrote, the three fiction books, three fiction books he's wrote, and he co-wrote a YA trilogy of three books as well. He sold over 30 million copies worldwide. He writes primarily in mystery, fiction, thriller, and suspense. And he's won a Pul he won a Pulitzer Prize for journalism in 1986. He won a Distinguished Writer Award in 1986. And he got a Pulitzer nomination in 1980, also for journalism. His parents were Roswell Sanford Camp. And that, obviously, as you can tell, that name um, was used as part of his pen name. And we'll get into that in a minute as well as his mother was Anne Agnes Barron. He received a bachelor's in literature and an MBA in journalism, both from the University of Iowa. From 1971 to 1978, he was a journalist in, for the Miami Herald. And in 1978, he moved to St. Paul, Minnesota. And that is significant, as you may or may not know, because most of the Prey series, especially at the beginning, takes place in St. Paul, where Luke Davenport resides. So in 19... Uh, 86, he got the Pulitzer Prize win for a feature that he wrote in, in, as a journalist, and it was around Americana and Life on the Farm. In 1989, he wrote two books, his first two books. The first one was Fool's Run, which was book number one in the Kid series, and Rules of Prey, which is the first in the Davenport, our Prey series. His publisher agreed to publish both books, but wanted them under two different names. And so he went with the pen name John Sanford for the Prey series book and stuck stuck with John Camp as the for the Fool's Runner, the kid number one book. And so the Prey series really took off, so he kind of just stuck with the pen name from there. So I thought that was really interesting. The Prey series' his popularity spawned some other series based on characters that had played a role in Sanford felt like deserved their own series, which I'm glad he did. In 2007, he spawned the Virgil Flower series. In 2022, he spawned the Letty Davenport series. And along with the four kid books, they're all loosely tied together. We'll talk about that as well in a minute. There have been two Prey movies that have been, or two Prey books that have been adapted to movies. In, two, in 2011, Certain Prey, book number 10, was adapted to a TV movie, and Davenport was played by Mark Harmon. And before that, in 1999, Mind Prey, book number seven, was adapted into a TV movie, and Davenport was played by Eric LaSalle. He co-wrote a science fiction book, Saturn Run, with famous photographer Kai Tan, or Kai Tyne. It's spelled C-T-E-I-N, but that's how it's pronounced, apparently. He is a famous photographer, very introverted. Um, I don't know much about him, but um, some of my research... Um, he has some writing, but he predominantly favors photography, and so you should check him out. In 2006, he contributed to a short stories collection titled Murder in the Rough. It is all kind of tales from various authors that revolve around murder in the game of golf, which I found really interesting, and apparently Otto Pinsler was the editor, and there's other books of a similar vein, like kind of a sports murder mystery type series type thing, and so I thought that was really interesting. Sanford Camp is also a friend of fellow Minnesotan, Minnesotian Chuck Logan, who is a crime drama writer. Sanford is also very heavily interested in art, photography, history, and outdoor sports, hence probably the reason he knows this Kai uh, Tyne per photographer person and how they probably got together to write Saturn Run. Sanford has lived in Lake Shores, uh, Lakeland Shores, Minnesota, Pasadena, California, and also in Santa Fe, New Mexico. So why do I like Sanford? I really think his characters are phenomenal. Obviously, he's launched multiple series, and they're loosely connected, but I just find them great. From Kid to Flowers to Davenport to Letty, 
I think they're all really good. And I think the supporting characters are really good, especially early in the series and the Prey series. You have Dale Capslock, you have Sloane, all these other detectives that work with Lucas. You have Marie, you have, uh, you know, all of his friends. He's just a very, he's a very interesting character, Davenport is. And then you have Kid, who's this artist burglar, you know, and his sidekick Llewellyn and Bobby. It, they're just very likable relatable characters that you pull for that have very interesting traits that spawn interesting kind of side plots amongst the main stories and I find that just really interesting very dynamic it's nice to see his characters over time evolve too because he really writes emotion well in the sense that they grow up they age well and I really like that his writing is very assess accessible it's easy to read it can be rough, especially when you're reading the Prey series at the very beginning. Some of the kid books as well. I mean, some of the material can be pretty pretty nasty. I mean, he deals with a lot of various topics, especially when they're doing investigations of people that are murderers, people that are rapists, people that um, are, you know, there's, there's some heinous crimes. So just be warned. I mean, it doesn't get too bad, um, but... It's definitely, there's definitely that content in there. The pacing is usually great. Most Sanford books are 350, 400 pages. You're not going to get any surprises really there. And the paces are, are, the pace is done really well. There's not a lot of fluff. You, it moves fairly well. You get through the investigations pretty, at a pretty good clip. So in terms of the best of Sanford's, I could get in, this could be a huge, I mean, I've got so many back there. And I did a uh, best of Davenport, um, a top, I think my top books are from the Lucas Davenport series. So you should definitely um, check that out. Uh, I'll put a link to it up here. And so in terms of how I rank the, diff the various series, so I like the kid novels the best. I think those four novels are the best in my opinion. I just like Kid as a character. He's my favorite of, of, of the characters. He's my favorite. I like Davenport second. Obviously, he's more recognizable. He, there's more books published. Um, I like him. Flowers is my third favorite. Letty is my fourth favorite in terms of the books. And so I'm going to be making my way through the Flowers books next year um, and reviewing them on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. But that's kind of how I rank the characters in the books that he has published in these various series. So in terms of where you should read, where you should start, my recommendations, I say if you're crazy like me and have OCD, um, the online has great resources. You can do it a couple different ways. You could do it basically in publication order, um, you know, and kind of go through there because then you'll bounce around from the kid to the Davenport to the flowers to the Davenport to, and then end up later in from Davenport to Letty and back. You could do it that way. In my personally, I think you should start with the kid books. I think those four are quick reads. I think it, it really gives you a taste of Sanford's writing. And so I think you should start there and then move into the Rules of Prey, the first book in the Davenport series, and make your way through there. And then if you want to bounce around between the Virgil Flower books when they come out in the midpoint, roughly, you know, and bounce back and forth between Flowers and, and Davenport, you can do that. That's fine. But you don't really have to. They're all loosely connected. I mean, you could start with the Rules of Prey and the Davenport books, and then when you get time, go to Kid and then come back to Davenport. And I, I don't think you'll be missing much. Kid plays small roles or small kind of homage mentioned to him. Um, there's a couple books where he helps Lucas investigate and gives him his take on art or cybercrime and that kind of thing. Um, Obviously, whether in Lucas, they have one of Kit's paintings in their house, and so there is some, they come over for dinner and that kind of thing, but it doesn't really help. You don't really have to know much about Kid to enjoy and appreciate Davenport and vice versa. Um, there's also standalones. I enjoyed um, Dead Watch. I enjoyed um, Night Crew, and I enjoyed Saturn Run. So if you want to start there and maybe get your kind of, get an introduction to Sanford as an author. Those are all really good choices. And I think Dead Watch and Night Crew are really good books as well. My overall thoughts, I think he's a great thriller writer. I have read all of his books except for nine of the 12 Virgil Flower books at this point. Um, I haven't read the YA books or the nonfiction books, but 
down the road, I might get an inkling to do so. Um, but like I said, I'll be review, reading and reviewing the Virgil Flower books next year. And so I think he's great. Um, like all writers of long series, you're going to have some books that are, are good, some books that are just okay, and some books that are really great. And that's that's true of any writer in any series, really, when it comes to characters that span a course of a long, long time. And so overall, he's worth the investment. He's definitely one of those authors that I wanted to do the research and do this video. So obviously, I enjoy him. And I hope this was helpful. And I hope you have a great Friday. Have a great day. Thanks. <laughs>